Let's see. Um, community rumor. I think now we're up to... We've got four more left? Or five more left? Let me check. Community rumors. I'm trying to see which one I'm up to. Community rumors. I found number 10. 10 was the one right. Community rumor number 11. The clue for the satchel comes from the list of six best romantic picnic spots, Blue Post. I don't remember this one. Um, <laughs> the clue is the image of the floating isles of Outer Negrand. I mean, it's really obviously Outland Negrand. Um, it has a skeleton leaning up against, I don't know, a rock wall or a tree. Um, it's hard to tell exactly. Um, with an apple next to them and an axe through its head. <laughs> oh, yes. Uh, six best romantic picnic spots. So we're clearly go we're going to Outland. Now, uh, something interesting about Outland, since we're on our way there, there's two things that makes me think that Outland might get, I don't want to say a full revamp, but a sprucing up, and here's why. You gotta go there with Rathian and Viranoth in 10.2. You go to Outland now, if you've completed Outland, it's desolate. And if you're going anywhere near the Blades Ed Mountains, it's particularly desolate if you've completed everything. So my guess is it might be getting a bit of an update. Um, I don't know what, I don't know how much effort's gonna go into it, but I think it, it's gonna get some kind of spruce up. Uh, the other thing is supposedly um, dragon riding is going to be going to Outland, including and Northrend and the Broken Isles, I believe, were the three places. So, after Eastern Kingdoms, which Eastern Kingdoms is coming next. So if those three areas are getting, also get, I, Broken Isles, I don't know if it needs that much, and I don't think Northrend needs it that much, because they were both designed with flying in mind, but um, I guess Out, Outland was too, but but I think they might be getting just a little bit by a floating island. An outland no grand. I don't s Oh, wait. Seriously? Up there? Are you kidding me? <gasps> yeah, that would be it. That would be it. dirt piles over here. People are just hanging out over here. Alright. What do we got? In our satchel. More knowledge discs. Good, I need them because I've not been doing so good lately. So that was number 11. And next... We are on to number 12, which the clue for the satchel comes from this week and wow post for this Monday. The SEO image on top of the article shows the search engine optimized as SEO image on top of the article shows the blue sky logging grounds in Grizzly Hills. Give me a reason to go to Grizzly Hills. You don't have to, but give me a reason. I am back. So, log ride. Amber Pine Lodge, which has the infamous um, poop quest. Use the outhouse. Should we? 
been a while. Yeah, let's just go. It's on fire. Oh. I missed you, Grizzly Hills. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you. Alright. Uh, let's go riding. Let's go log riding. If you're lions, if you're horde, you're on the other side. If you're, you're, you're horde, you're on the other side. I'm only showing you the map. By other side, I mean like right next to it. Like the other platform on the other side. But anyway, log ride time. Time to go rug riding in Grizzly Hills. Oh, Outhouses and log riding. That, that's, what, that's what Grizzly Hills is about. <laughs> so they have the Wii buff, which if you noticed, um, gave you the Dark Moon Fair-like thing. You get Wii for the carousel and the... There's no way you would stay on a log for this ride. You, you do not go over rocks like that. Maybe. I don't know. At this inclination, possibly. <laughs> it's just... No way you wouldn't die on that log ride, is what I'm saying. Anyway. If you take the log ride down, you have your wee buff on, by the time you reach the bottom, you'll see it. And supposedly the dirt pot, the dirt patch or whatever, doesn't appear unless you've done this. So you can't just fly to the end of the location and get it. You have to have the wee buff on. Which I'm guessing is where everyone else is here. Yep. Come on, Tobias. Come on, good boy, good boy. You cannot loot that item now? Okay, I'm like, yes, I can. I guess someone else is looting at the same time. Yay, more potions. Severely chipped rod sword. I mean, you do get a nice chunk of gold. I have to say that much. So that was... Number 12. I'm glad I got to go to Grizzly Hills on this. That's all I'm saying. So the next one. Number 12 is number 13. Community room at number 13. The clue for this satchel comes from a tweet posted in the... Ugh. Do I really have to say it? Uh, comes from a tweet posted in the official Warcraft Twitter. I'm not saying the other name for it. Account. The tweet has many uppercase letters out of place. And combining them spells High Mountain Peak. I know exactly where that is, of course. 13th community satchel can be found on the peak of the highest mountain in High Mountain next to a withered parchment. I know, I know where that location is. It's been a while since I've been here, but there we go. A big good clue is whenever there are other people gathered around it, but yeah. So. Withered parchment. In honor of those who ascend to unimaginable heights, may your spirit continue through the dreams of others who follow. Now, I mean, that's there regardless of the event. Here's a loose dirt mound. No satchel. More gold, more potions, more trash. 
At least they sell for decent gold. All right, that was number 13. We've got one more tonight. I think this might be the last one. Not entirely sure. But community rumor number 14. The clue for the satchel comes from a tweet posted in the official Warcraft Twitter, not saying the other one account. The tweet displays a video talking about how Seekers of Azeroth event was created. At around 1.10 in the video, developer Kayla Brown drinks out of a water bottle that has a QR code embedded in it. Are you kidding me? The code reads Shrine 52123. There's a second QR on Kayla's shoulder shown throughout the video, which reads, I heard a rumor. Are you kidding me? That's, 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 that's kind of amazing and totally bonkers. I love it. The 14th satchel is found by the Bronze Dragon Shrine, which I haven't been in a while, in Dragonblight. We'll go back to Dragonblight, near Skeleton Dragon's Claw. The clue for the QR code refers to the 8th Community Satchel, which was found by the Emerald Dragon Shrine in Blight. Yeah, we found that last night. The original way to find the satchel was to equip out your Trickdale Thinking Cap at the Emerald Dragon Satchel and follow the QR code coordinates from there. But you can simply fly to the Bronze Dragon Shrine area to loot it. Okay. So, yeah, we're just going to do it that way. But we're going, we're going back to Northrend. This is one of the first times in the game there's a quest that sends you here where you meet your past self. And you get to, you get to show up for both Eternity, uh, where, um, my eternity said, where, um, end times is. So this is where, because everybody's over here. So this is the claw in the picture. Yeah, it's a bit anticlimactic. This is the claw in the picture. I mean, nothing fairly anticlimactic, all things considered. Oh, wait. No, there are more. <gasps> There's two more. So that was Satchel 14. Satchel 15... for this satchel comes from the blue post announcing the pet battle bonus event for this week. The SEO image shows the arena for the August Celestials. I recognize that right away. Um, world boss in the Timeless Isle. So we're going to the Timeless Isle. The trees wither and the mountains we You're in the way. You no. will be surrounded by foes greater than you can imagine. Your fortitude shall allow blah, blah, blah. you to endure. Remember this in the okay, time. Okay, good. I ahead. just need that. Very satchel. You have walked the trial of fortitude and learned of the path of the Eternal black flame. ox. May it bless your passage. So yeah, that's number fifteen. Number 15. Yeah, and it doesn't keep track beyond that point. It doesn't keep track of how many you've done beyond that point. But, beyond, not, beyond 10, anyway. 